Hi guys. People often ask me to make a video top 10 stocks, to buy right now. So here's a quick video. Enjoy. Hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. I got a lot of questions about what stocks are on sale right now. Well. It's a tough question to answer. It depends on your age, and your time horizon, when you plan to withdraw the money you've invested. In general, the longer your time horizon, the more risk you can assume, because you have more time to recover from a loss from things like a sudden market downturn. Here is my list of 16 stocks, which I believe are on sale right now. I'm not a financial advisor, please always do your due diligence before buying a stock. If you believe that gap, ticker GPS, will bounce back after the pandemic, you can look at this stock. The stock traded at $13 today, it's far below its intrinsic value. It's a great value purchase at the moment. Don't forget about its juicy dividend, 4.55% yearly. See a link to my detailed video review of the stock in the description to get more information about the stock. If you believe that Foot Locker will bounce back after the pandemic, you can look at this stock. The stock traded at $28 today, it's far below its intrinsic value. It looks like a fantastic value at the moment. The stock's generous dividend, 5.58% yearly, would be the cherry on the cake. See a link to my detailed video review of the stock in the description. If you believe that big lots will bounce back after the pandemic, you can look at this stock. The stock traded at $33 today, it's far below its intrinsic value. It's a great value purchase at the moment. Don't forget about its good dividend, 3.5% yearly. See a link to my detailed video review of the stock in the description. If you believe that Meta will bounce back after its epic drop in February, I do believe, you should definitely look at the stock. The stock traded at $218 today, it's far below its intrinsic value. It's a great value purchase at the moment. This stock is for long-term investors only. Who knows when the stock goes up? See a link to my detailed video review of the stock in the description. If you believe that Alibaba will bounce back after its drop, I do believe, you should definitely look at the stock. The stock traded at $103 today, it's far below its intrinsic value. It looks like a fantastic value at the moment. This stock is for long-term investors only. Who knows when the stock goes up? See a link to my detailed video review of the stock in the description. T. Rowe Price. You can't go wrong with this old-school boring stock. The stock traded at $144.50 today, it's below its intrinsic value. It's a great value purchase at the moment. Don't forget about its good dividend, 3.28% yearly. See a link to my detailed video review of the stock in the description. Yugi Corporation. You can't go wrong with this old-school boring stock. The stock traded at $35.70 today, it's far below its intrinsic value. It's a great value purchase at the moment. Don't forget about its juicy dividend, 3.8% yearly. See a link to my detailed video review of the stock in the description. Intel. You can't go wrong with this old-school boring stock. The stock traded at $46.80 today, it's far below its intrinsic value. It's a great value purchase at the moment. Don't forget about its good dividend, 3.07% yearly. See a link to my detailed video review of the stock in the description. Walgreens. You can't go wrong with this old-school boring stock. The stock traded at $43.80 today, it's far below its intrinsic value. It looks like a fantastic value at the moment. The stock's generous dividend, 4.23% yearly, would be the cherry on the cake. See a link to my detailed video review of the stock in the description. Leggett & Platt. You can't go wrong with this old-school boring stock. The stock traded at $33.80 today, it's far below its intrinsic value. It looks like a fantastic value at the moment. The stock's generous dividend, 4.81% yearly, would be the cherry on the cake. See a link to my detailed video review of the stock in the description. Of course 3M. You can't go wrong with this legendary old school stock. The stock traded at $147.70 today, it's far below its intrinsic value. It looks like a good value at the moment. The stock's generous dividend, 3.97% yearly, would be the cherry on the cake. See a link to my detailed video review of the stock in the description. Smith & Wesson. 
you can't go wrong with this boring old school stock. The stock traded at $14.50 today, it's far below its intrinsic value. It's a good value purchase at the moment. It pays a dividend, 2.15% yearly. Franklin Resources. You can't go wrong with this boring old school stock. The stock traded at $25.60 today, it's far below its intrinsic value. It looks like a great value at the moment. The stock's generous dividend, 4.4% yearly, would be the cherry on the cake. Bank of America. This stock is not exactly on sale, but it's pretty much undervalued right now. So, it would be reasonable to open a small position to see how it goes, and DCA later. The stock traded at $38.90 today, it's near its intrinsic value. It looks like a decent value at the moment. The stock pays a dividend, 2.13% yearly. See a link to my detailed video review of the stock in the description. JP Morgan Chase. This stock is not exactly on sale, but it's pretty much undervalued right now. So, it would be reasonable to open a small position to see how it goes, and DCA later. The stock traded at $128.80 today, it's far below its intrinsic value. It looks like a good value at the moment. Don't forget about its good dividend, 3.05% yearly. See a link to my detailed video review of the stock in the description. Citigroup. This stock is not exactly on sale, but it's pretty much undervalued right now. So, it would be reasonable to open a small position to see how it goes, and DCA later. The stock traded at $49 today, it's far below its intrinsic value. It looks like a good value at the moment. Don't forget about its generous dividend, 4.08% yearly. See a link to my detailed video review of the stock in the description. Watch out for earnings reports because they are very unpredictable. The price may drop even after strong earnings reports, and positive outlook, for example, see Qualcomm's and Micron's recent drops, here is a list of upcoming earnings reports. JP Morgan Chase, April 13th. Citigroup, April 14th. Bank of America, April 18th. 3M, April 25th. Meta, April 26th. T. Rowe Price, April 27th. Intel, April 27th. Franklin Resources, April 28th. I believe that all the stocks mentioned in this video are fairly priced at the moment, but please always do your due diligence before buying a stock. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel.